guys welcome to my youtube channel tasia plus today i'm going to make a bit please stay with me from the beginning to the end so we're gonna start with our ingredients here yeah? it's uh, soaked rice i soaked it overnight sugar and coconut milk dried yeast cardamom which is already crushed and a little bit of vanilla and without forgetting oil we're gonna use oil to fry so I started with uh, coconut milk sugar and a drop of vanilla dried yeast so we're gonna mix it very well make, make sure it's the water has to be a bit warm so I'm gonna add some warm water just to make the yeast to rise because yeast needs sugar and warmth so and I'm gonna keep it to rest until it rise and now I'm gonna add um, rice in a blender so this rice was soaked overnight and now um, I drained it because we don't need the water so I drained the water I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do two two rounds so this is the first round so as you can see the yeast is already uh, ready um, you can see some bubbles on the yeast that means the yeast is okay now to be used and so I blend it so usually the yeast I like to do it separate so that I make sure that the yeast is active because sometimes if the yeast is not active and they you won't get the good results you have to start all over again so I, 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 I intend to do it in a separate bowl to make sure like everything is okay yeah so the that's the mixture this is what we are looking for that's the thickness I'm looking for for the bitumboa it's not supposed to be too light or too too thick so this is my second round now as you can see that's the consistency I'm looking for yeah as I said it's not supposed to be too too thick or too light there you go so make sure like when you when you do this you see the thickness on it so I'm gonna put this one aside to to rise again because now we need to let the yeast do its work again I'm gonna wrap it nicely with a film and keep it in a warm place so usually I prefer keeping it in the uh, microwave some people or you can decide to put it in, uh, in the oven yeah so I'm not gonna switch on the microwave or even if you put it in the oven um, don't switch it on just leave it there yeah so Vitumbo is a street food in Tanzania since I'm from Tanzania yeah, I decided to try this snack see how it goes now the rice uh, the rice mixture is already uh, it's already it's ready it's ready to be uh, cooked into bitumbua now as you can see some bubbles that means the yeast is doing its job it's, it's still active and it's okay now it's raising a bit which is the results I was looking for so I'm happy now to start cooking I'm gonna start with uh, oiling the pan this pan you can find it in Amazon but this one I bought it from Tanzania which is okay for Vitumbua and it's really good I haven't tried the Amazon one but I hear that there is some in Amazon and I don't know the price so now I'm gonna put the, the mixture in the pan so it depends how big you want your Vitumbua uh, I prefer it medium because if it's too big uh, it's not good uh, for me I don't like it too big I like it medium size so uh, this is the amount I'm gonna put in my pan but if you want big vitumbo then you can just uh, fill up the pan a little bit just leave a little bit of gap so it will be easy for you to turn the, the to turn the vitumbo so this is the amount I'm gonna leave it like that so I'm gonna wait for it to cook how will I know that it's ready to, to turn when you start seeing bubbles? 
on the when you start seeing bubbles that's when you know like it's the, it's, it's already it's ready to turn because it's already cooked and uh, and it's a medium heat like i'm using six according to my cooker yeah so i'm gonna start turning the pitumbua by using a wooden stick like that it's not that hard it's easy uh, the more you practice the more you get it so some people think the tumbua is hard to turn as long as you got your mixture right then everything is gonna be okay and the more you practice the better you become so they as you can see I've turned the two because the heat the heat is is more in the middle so I, I have to like wait a bit and make sure like before I turn uh, the the tumbua is already uh, is cooked enough to be turned because I don't want it to break especially the middle bit is, is quick is quicker because the heat is is there it's more in the in the middle than the other part of the pan so all all vitumbua now is almost done uh, from one side so I'll make sure that I had some oil as you saw me adding some oil because sometimes the oil I don't use too much oil so I make sure like the oil is enough to cook the kitumbua uh, so it won't become too dry either yeah kitumbua is in English maybe they call it rice cake because it's a sweet snack yeah you saw you saw the ingredients if i added sugar but i think some part of the uh, some part of the world they add salt which is okay too you can cook it with with salt no problem but if you like if you have a sweet tooth then sugar it's okay too okay guys so let it let it cook both sides what we are looking for is for Kitumbua to turn brown like this wow i'm so happy my Kitumbua looks nice guys this is my second time i'm cooking Kitumbua the first time the Kitumbua wasn't that nice but today i'm proud of myself Kitumbua looks nice wow hope it's gonna taste nice too hopefully fingers crossed but i'm sure it will so guys try this recipe and if you need the pan try it in amazon it's nice snack for anything really now i'm done i'm gonna try and clean the pan straight away while it's still warm so i'm gonna use tissue don't use water because next time when you start using the pan again the vitumbo is gonna start sticking around so just wipe it nicely and make sure you clean all the oil everywhere and ready to be used for the next time don't use water this is our vitumbua guys look at that they are so nice i'm so happy so i'm gonna have it with black tea just black tea guys this is how it looks inside i'm so happy and it tastes so nice i tried one already guys